guys welcome back in this video we'll be discussing what is an identity matrix and we'll be doing a few questions related to it from the past papers all right so what is an identity matrix we see one in front of us it is a matrix which has one and one in this diagonal and zero and zero in this diagonal now this matrix has some special properties one of which is that if you find the inverse of this matrix, it is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1 itself. That means I and I inverse, they're the, the same matrix. They do not change. Another property of this is that if you multiply a matrix with I, for example, if you have a matrix A, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you have to find A times I, then the result is matrix A. And if you have to find I times A, then the answer is still A. So if you multiply identity matrix with any matrix in any order, the answer is the other matrix. Another thing is that if you see 3I written somewhere in the question, that just means that you multiply this identity matrix with 3. So that's going to be 3, 0, 0, 3. Every number is going to be multiplied with 3. So 0 stays 0, 1 becomes 3. All right, now let's do some past paper questions from this topic. All right, before that, there's another important property related to identity matrix is that if you have a matrix A and you multiply it with the inverse of A, then the answer is always an identity matrix. Now let's do the past paper questions. Okay, so here's the question. Let's take a look at it. There's matrix M that we need to find plus two times identity matrix, which we know now is one, one here and zero, zero here. And this is equals to B. And B is also given in the question 2, 0, 7, minus 5. So we need to find M. So M plus this becomes 2, 0, 0, 2 equals 2, 0, 7, minus 5. Now this goes to the other side and gets subtracted. So M equals 2, 0, 7, minus 5, minus 2, 0, 0, 2. Now you subtract the individual values. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. And minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. So this is the answer for M. All right. So here's another question. That C and C inverse are 2 are two by 2 matrices. Write down the 2 by 2 matrix, which is equivalent to C times C inverse times B. Now, if a matrix is multiplied by its inverse, then the answer is just identity matrix. So this becomes identity matrix, which is 1, 1, 0, 0 times B, 0, 2, 2, minus 3. And we already know that identity times B gives us B. So the answer for this question is just matrix B itself. Okay, so here's another question, which is find the matrix Y such that AY is equals to identity matrix. Now, if the result of A times Y is an identity matrix, that means Y is actually A inverse. So we'll simply find A inverse, Y equals A inverse. And to find A inverse, we'll first find determinant 4 times 0 minus minus 1 times 2. So that's 0 plus 2. So the determinant is just 2. So we write 1 over 2. And then we change the sign, we change the positions of 4 and 0, and we change the sign of 2, which becomes minus 2, we change the sign of minus 1, which becomes plus 1. So, either you leave the answer like this, or this becomes 2 minus 1 
half and zero. Half gets multiplied with each individual entries inside. Here's another one. Write down the single matrix that is equal to A inverse A. So we know that is just equals to identity matrix. So the answer is 1, 0, 0, 1. Here's another one. Write down as a 2 by 2 matrix the answer to 3 times A times A inverse. Again, we know that this means identity matrix. So 3 times identity matrix equals to 3, 0, 0, 3. 